Alberta culinary scene and food from a food escape perspective as, gosh, where do I even begin? As collaborative, as innovative, as um, invigorating, I think it's never been more promising. I think it's just, it's motivating as a chef. really exciting now that a lot of our producers are doing some really cool things all year round. So we've got greenhouses going all the time, we've got uh, amazing tomatoes all year round, we've got cucumbers and herbs and you know, people doing innovative things like microgreens and things like that, they're really great. Creating a menu for the, the people that live in Medicine Hat, they like to have all of their local ingredients, so I take advantage of that and use it in multiple ways in the, in the restaurant and the menu that I've created. So I like to stick with ingredients that people are kind of used to and slowly introduce more exotic things. I like Alberta because of the people. They are nice and friendly and they are sincere. Everybody's go-to protein in Alberta is beef, obviously, but we've got a ton of other great things too. We've got pork, venison, I think about bison, I think about antelope. We serve a, a very good product and fresh product. From farm to table, uh, more uh, produce, uh, more local uh, protein. It's back to Grandma's Kitchen, basically with a culinary flair. We've got some pretty distinct seasons, um, and we have a pretty harsh, long winter. So to combat that, um, we've got these amazing greenhouses that are producing great food all year round. There was scotch bonnet peppers growing, there was habanero peppers growing. It's nice to have those exotic products actually growing fresh right here in Alberta. And I think if you go to farmer's markets and allow yourself to uh, see what's out there, there is a lot more than, than what we know about. I love cooking. I love cooking in Alberta the most. I think that it's reinvigorated my passion for cooking. The best thing about being a chef is sharing food with people and experiences and stories. Meeting all these other local chefs that I wouldn't have met otherwise and from now we're going to form some collaborations so they'll be coming to Calgary and I'll be coming back to Medicine Hat so that was a pretty great part of this event. It was actually the bonus part of this event for me. It's a good positive vibe all around and something that's always new and exciting.